for the first time, we're doing Linda Bronstadt on yes. the channel. And I'm excited. Sam, are you excited? I am excited. I hope that she is as good as you guys make her out to be in those comments. Yeah, you guys have been hyping her up a whole lot in those comments. You've been saying Linda Ronstadt, one of those great vocalists. Oh, yeah. We've done a lot on the channel. So if you guys are saying she's great, then she must be really damn good. Yes. And I'm excited to check this one out. We got Blue Bayou. Uh, I think this is one of her more popular songs. Mm -hmm. um, but we always appreciate your insight. So if you want to drop anything else in the, in the comments there and let us know what else we should check out from her, we will probably do that that's where we've gone with the channel anytime we've gotten some insights from yeah. you guys you know it's been pretty good so uh, you guys always educate us and give us the best recommendations yeah so do that on this one as well so linda ronset what do you know about linda samantha not much aside from just the very brief kind of google we did on her before this we like to get like a little bit of a feel for each artist and just that she started in the 60s was popular through the 70s and 80s and that's about it <laughs> that's right and um so we have a little pop quiz question for you, and uh, we've been doing that yes. to educate ourselves and educate you guys yeah, as well. So a little extra. What is the pop quiz question of the day? So in what year was this song released as part of her album called Simple Dreams? That's right. If you know that answer, drop it down. No. And now I wanted to get Sam to ask you that question because I needed to add uh, my thoughts to it. And, <laughs> and that is um, in line with when this was released, I am finding that I'm very much excited about what we're what we might be getting into in that from that time period yeah so I'm finding that this decade is potentially going to be my favorite or has become my favorite I should say mm -hmm. in all the music that we've listened to yeah. um, and uh, you know it's it's just been really mind-blowing to see the diversity that's come out of that decade so I'm excited to check this one out because yeah. it's from a decade that I've really been enjoying and you guys are saying that Linda is outstanding. Yes, we so, got some big expectations going into this one. Yeah, there is some high expectations. So without further ado, let's check out some Linda Ronstadt, Blue Bayou. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's roll. Life. All 
right, so we got Linda. What are your thoughts, Sam, on Ooh. Linda? At first, I wasn't too sure. Like, it started a lot lower and slower, and I was like, okay. But then I felt like it was risky putting my volume up because I didn't want my eardrums to get exploded in case she <laughs> picked it up a notch. So, yeah. And so you're saying in the beginning when she was kind of lulling you in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, wasn't coming with all the power that she clearly has. Yeah, well, I feel like usually when people say in the comments, you know, historically that like somebody is an incredible vocalist, I'm mm -hmm. expecting like range and power, right? Yeah. And then that's not really how she started, Yeah, she didn't right? begin that way, right? So and I was then... kind of like, okay, <laughs> where are we going with this? Gonna conserve the volume yeah. for my eardrums. But mm -hmm. her vocal range is incredible. Obviously, once she gets into that part where she starts to pick it up a notch and, and really like start belting it out, she sounds incredible. And I feel like she's really painting like a really clear picture. It's like, it's like a mix of, I guess it's storytelling, but she's not really telling a full story. I feel like she's just really painting a picture with the lyrics. Oh, yeah. She's doing a great job at the storytelling. I mean, it's so vivid for me. You know, I'm picturing this, uh, you know, blue bayou. And I I mean, I'm not familiar with southern <laughs> slang. So I assume a blue bayou is a blue body of water that she's talking about. Yeah. And I, I don't know if that maybe is like Louisiana, New Orleans kind of slang. Right. But yeah. um, that's what I'm picturing is this blue body of water with maybe like forest around it. And you got the sunshine and the blue sky and you've got the reflections off the water. That's yeah. kind of a visual. And she's talking about like fishing boats. So like yeah, fish exactly. Boats out on the water. Uh, that's the visual she's painting for me anyways. And, um, I, I was in a similar light as you were in that in the beginning, because everybody had said she's great and everything. I was like, well, you know, what is this? What, you know, in the yeah. beginning, I was like, okay, she's, she's good, but it's not like I'm blown Blow away water, by it. Yeah. I'm blown, blown Blow out of the water. <laughs> blown, <laughs> blown you out, out of the bayou. bayou. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, in the beginning I was like, okay, yeah. And then all of a sudden she exploded and You're it was like, just like wait. so much power. And like I you know. said, the range is awesome. It came out of nowhere. I was like, but it's, it's so controlled at the same time. Well, it's so mm -hmm. powerful. She reminds me of um, Steve Perry a little bit in that like, she has the ability to sound, you know, so pleasant and beautiful, but has so much power yeah. in the same regard. For sure. And um, I think we were reading that she's kind of got a mix of like country folk rock in the genres Blend. that she's done. Yeah. Yeah. And I can kind of see how she could cross over. For sure. Because she uh, clearly is super talented, but she does, like I could see her on a rock kind of song as well sure. this has got much more of a country feel to it with the slide guitar right it's it's got the bayou feel yeah well, i was just about to say i feel like the country feel comes from the instrumentation and the lyrics not yeah. necessarily her vocals yeah. so uh, that's why she definitely like you said could be diversified into other genres yeah sure. but at the same time it does remind me a little bit of some of the you know like the uh, bobby gentry song that we did okay yeah as well like it yeah. does remind me a little yeah, bit of that the instrumentation in particular but then the storytelling on top of that yep. and painting to picture and all that and that's what i love about country music in yeah, general yeah such great storytelling this, yeah the storytelling is awesome anyways um i'm loving it though she's awesome you guys were right as usual linda ronstadt is a she's beast killing it. she's killing it let's see what she's gonna do in the back half
Impressive. Damn. So got a minute here. What's going on? These cameras are for. This is overseas TV, so if you got any aunts and uncles in Australia, any stray kangaroos, you go out and change your blouse or put on a little bit more roots. Stray kangaroos. And then she threw a little rhyme in there. That was weird. That was so weird. She just like vanished into thin air like... Yeah, and they had a little scratch on the record momentarily yeah. there, too. Weird. I don't know. Maybe that was because she threw that little rhyme in the end. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that vibrato was awesome. So well controlled, man. Like, that was fire. The only thing I would say is, like, I, me being the recording engineering background, if you don't know if this is your first time on the channel, I have a background in recording engineering, so sounding engineering is what I kind of focus in on sometimes and the mix and stuff like that. Um, I just wish we had a better recording of this. Obviously, it was live, so it was still outstanding. Yeah. It was so fantastic. And the clarity in her voice for the recording oh, yeah. was still so good. It was great. It was great recording uh, you know, for the time period and for it being live. Um, there was just a little bit of hiss and stuff in there that you know, I, I'm going to maybe see if I can find a, a different recording of it Your that might have been remastered or something yeah. like that. But it, as it is, it's still fantastic yeah, so um good. and she was so impressive um almost like it's hard to say that she sounds exactly like her but given that we've just kind of been introduced to her my first thought and how mesmerizing she was um reminded me a little bit of karen carpenter oh, okay yeah i could see that like with like just the sounding almost like the haunting like yeah. beautiful sound of exactly. her voice exactly that's yeah. the way i would have described it so um you know she's she's great you guys are right she's a great yeah, vocalist awesome. um so thank you for that recommendation in those comments yeah and she was also like painting the blue by you it's like making me want to go to the blue by you the way <laughs> she was making it sound i know like the silver moon in the evening sky and yeah, the sunrise. Just, yeah, painting that visual. Yeah. Was there any lyrics in particular that, that really stood out for you? Well, I think I just liked like the idea as a whole. Like to me, I really got like obviously she was painting that beautiful picture, but I also feel like the underlying message of the song was like a longing to be there because she couldn't be there and she was talking a lot about It was like a paradise, right? Yeah, and, and she was talking about how she was she was there and then she had to leave to save her nickels and dimes and working till the sun don't shine and it seemed like she had to leave to go like be an adult and work and do all these things, but she would that's where she'd rather be in this mm -hmm. paradise with her friends and her lover and living the best life. So Yeah. Yeah. So uh, but you didn't answer my question. What was the question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what lyrics did you find? Anything that stood out to you? I know you were, you like lyrics. You're like, you, uh, you were saying, um, you know, you, the, the delivery on this one was something you liked. So is there anything in particular that you enjoyed? Yeah, lyric I think like my favorite visual was her describing her waking up to like, or her wanting to wake up to this like beautiful sunrise as soon as she opens her eyes. Mm. Yeah. What about you? Well, that's what I was saying. That's why I was asking you in particular, because I liked the silver moon reference. And <laughs> you're playing side. off the flip side on the sunrise. Yeah. So, um, I thought you might have liked that. that uh, I've become an early riser, so I love the sunrise now. You love the sunrise. Yeah. There you go. Well, hopefully you guys loved that video as much as we did. And if you did, you can hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment. And let us know where we should go with Yes. Linda Ronstadt, and um, we always appreciate your insights, but we always appreciate when you hit the like button and yes. you hit the subscribe button and you hit the notification bell and you have the answer to the pop quiz question. That I was going to say, if you guys just saw my face, you probably saw me get nervous here for a minute. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> so what year was this released as part of her album? And the answer is 1977. 1977 so that's why like yeah. i was saying earlier on um about the eras 1970s i'm really really mm -hmm. been enjoying been that. loving the 70s yeah so um that's why i was you know anticipating this one quite a bit and yeah. it did not let me down i very much enjoyed it so looking forward to more 70s in the future yes, yes. all right that's it from us today guys we'll be back soon with another one we'll see you then thanks so much for watching guys see you next one